Here he says, what's the ruling on wiping over the hoof, which includes the shoes, the socks you wear? Because when performing wudu, we see some people with wet hands simply wipe over their socks or shoes. So is this permissible? The answer is yes. It is part, it's an essential part of Ahl Sunnah wal Jama'ah that wiping over the socks or the shoes or the khuf or the jarmuq or the muq, different names for it. Whatever you wear on your feet and that covers the whole foot plus the ankles, you can wipe only on the top of it and do that once. Providing that you put on these socks while you were in the state of wudu. So if you pray Fajr and you're still in the state of wudu, and at th 10 o'clock, uh, let's assume, and you are still in the state of wudu, you did not break your wudu, you put on your socks and go to work, and then you answer the call of nature, you pass wind, you break your wudu for one reason or the other. Dhuhr time is due, you go and perform wudu. When it comes to washing the feet, it is sufficient for you to just wipe over it. And you can do this for 24 hours from the time you wipe over your socks. If you are a resident, but if you're traveling, Allah has given you 72 hours, three days and three nights, to wipe without the need of washing your feet, unless you have a, a major uh, ritual impurity. In this case, you have to take a full bath and you have to wash your feet. We have